My name is Dave Carlson and I have chosen to do my training on the storytelling competency. Uh, storytelling is an art, uh, for some the gift of gab, along with the art of storytelling, uh, comes naturally. For, for others, not so much. The ability to engage in an audience and have them interested in what you have to say um, is a skill that is essential in uh, being a business partner. Even if you don't have the natural gift of telling a story, that doesn't mean that you can't obtain it um, and, and master that skill. There are several competencies um, and several components uh, to telling a story. Once you master the components of telling a story, you'll be able to master the art of telling the story. So today what we're going to go over is one, why storytelling is an important aspect or skill as a business partner. Two, the components of a, a successful story. And three, important qualities um, to remember when telling a, a business related story. And four, um, how to master the art of telling a story. Um, so let's move on. Uh, why story storytelling is an important skill as a business partner. One, adult learners, um, you know, retain knowledge better uh, if they are able to relate to what they're being taught and if they can see real world application to the principle they're being taught. A story provides a way to engage in a person's interest, um, appeal to their emotions, uh, provide real world application, and if told right, uh, provide a methodical way of remembering the principle. And two, stories can create, support, and maintain company culture. Um, so going on, the components of a story, context, characters, conflict, and conclusion. Before I break down these components, I'm going to tell you a brief story to emphasize um, and give context to the four components um, the, uh, story, um, uh, of a story. So this, this is a story that I would use if I wanted to stress the importance of, of checking your facts before uh, making a drastic decision. Um, Back in college, uh, I was swimming at the, the pool with a bunch of my friends, and we were just kind of all, all playing around, messing along, and, and one of my friends, she came up behind me, and she just tugged up on the back of my swimsuit and gave me the biggest wedgie. And, uh, you know, my friends, we laughed and thought it was funny and, and uh, you know, didn't think much of it. Uh, a few minutes later, you know, my friends and I, we were doing cannonballs off the diving board, and uh, there I saw the other side of the pool, and she was there with couple of other friends and she was leaning up against the side of the pool like this and uh, they were just um, you know back towards me and, and um, you know just kind of talking I thought this is my my perfect opportunity to get revenge so I jumped off the diving board and I, I swam under the water and, and tried to be as, as stealthy as possible and as I got closer I came up out of the water and I I tiptoed a little bit closer and, and I grabbed the side of her swimsuit and I just yanked up as hard as I could and she was completely shocked um, especially since it wasn't even my friend. Um, it actually ended up being some young mother and uh, just, I could not explain or apologize enough. I was so embarrassed and just could not for the life of me uh, explain why I, I had done what I did. So, um, you know, I ended up, you know, grabbing my towel, my flip-flops and, and getting out of there and I told my friends and, and uh, they just thought, uh, you know, for, for weeks and months and even to this day, we, we still laugh about it. Um, so let's break down the story. The context, um, you know, my, that's the, my friends and I were swimming at the pool. Uh, two, the characters, it was, you know, myself, uh, my friend, um, and the young mother uh, that was in that story. The conflict, um, the third component, uh, the conflict was, you know, me seeking out revenge on my friend. And fourth was the conclusion, um, not checking my facts and assuming that the lady was actually my friend and giving this totally random stranger, uh, the wedgie of a lifetime. Um, this story provides, you know, to, to maybe a group that's telling, a memorable way of what can happen if you hastily make a decision or choice before checking your facts and assuming you know all the details. Uh, so moving on, next we have the important qualities um, to remember when telling a business story. One, keep it timely. You can lose your audience if your story is too short or too long. If it's too long, the focus can change from uh, the point of the story to the actual story itself, and the moral or the point of the story can get mighted up or lost in the details. Or, uh, two, you might simply might lose um, your audience's interest. If the story is too short, the basic fundamentals or components will be lost, um, and your audience will be left struggling or wondering um, to find the relationship between what you're trying to teach. Um, the second thing is, the story has to be relatable. Uh, make sure that you tell a story um, that your audience can relate to. Um, if I was telling a story to my children, 
Um, I wouldn't tell, tell them the story about the time I spent hours trying to download SQL. You know, they just would have no idea what I'm talking about. If done right, you can deliver an entire message in a relatable way um, that the audience can recall the important aspects of the story. Um, last but not least is how to master the art of telling a story. Practice, practice, practice. Practice, get, uh, practice the story out loud. Get used to hearing uh, your story being spoken. Um, time your story um, as you, you practice. Walk with it, talk with it. Share your story with a trusted partner. Um, in this step, you're learning to tell a story by moving from image to image and using your transitions to get from one point to another. As you speak it out loud um, uh, with the trusted friends um, and make further adjustments as you're trying to kind of figure out what's working and, and what you want to fix. Speaking your, out, speaking your story out loud is a terrific way to time your story and to learn what you know 10 minutes feels like, what three minutes feels like. Um, if you only have three or 10 minutes uh, to share your story, feeling that internal time clock is an invaluable um, aspect especially when a clock or, or timer isn't available. Um, and that's it. You know, I, I hope you've enjoyed my presentation um, on the competencies of a strategic business, business partner. Um, thank you. Um, you know, I wish you luck in the rest of this class and in the HR program as well.